Good morning, Daniel Han. We have a lot to go over today, so let's jump right in. Did you know that the amount of freshmen has been declining every year? Yeah. I heard that football giant Brian Casagrande has been eating all of them for extra protein. No, Travis. It's because we aren't seeing enough new faces around town. Well, let's see what Charlie, Mark, and Del Vonte have to say about this. In recent years, student enrollment at Daniel Hand has been on a steady decline. The school's current population of 1,131 students is expected to drop down to 1,062 in the next year. This decline is projected to continue significantly through 2024. What is the reason for the expected decline in student enrollment at hand? The decline is not actually something that's new. It's something that has been making its way up through the school system. For the past eight years, it's really a combination of, of several factors. One is that nationwide after the recession that really began in 2008, the number of children being born dramatically declined nationwide as people couldn't afford to have more kids. The enrollment has actually been dropping in kindergarten through eighth grade over the last 10 years, and it's finally getting to hand, and it's pretty significant. You know, we're used to having a little bit over 300 students in every grade level, and the current eighth grade class has about 215 students, and that's one of the largest classes right now in the K-8 realm. What are some of the immediate impacts as a result of the steadily declining population at the school? Fortunately, and, and very sadly, it's meant that there are some faculty and staff that um, are having their positions cut due to declining enrollment. If there's fewer students, there's going to obviously then be fewer faculty and staff. I think everyone's aware, including our student body, that Island Avenue School will be you know, shut down at the conclusion of next school year. Next year at hand, we will have a 5.0 FTE, that means a full-time equivalent reduction. So the equivalent of five full teachers will no longer be working here, not for any negative reasons. It's unfortunately it's called a reduction in force. The beaches in Madison will always be packed. As for the classrooms, we'll have to wait and find out. From the main office, this is Charlie Jensen reporting. Well, at least we'll be able to run the table in class as sports. That's true. It won't be hard to show off our talented teams. Speaking of showing off talents, what are you doing for Showboat this year? Probably my karate routine. That's wicked. Let's take it over to Mario, Matt, Matt, and Ricky to see all the buzz is about. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, ba, ba. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time to take my chances. Went the distance. And now I'm back on my feet. Just a man and in his will to survive. So many times it happens to you. You trade your, your passion for glory. Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the past. You, you must, must fight. Fight just to keep them alive. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge. Jump on arrival. <laughs> and the last down survivor stalks his prey in the night. And he's watching his oh. The eye of the tiger. I didn't realize we had so much talent in these halls. Yeah, good thing we're bringing the talent show back. I love comeback stories. Did you hear Christie's about to reopen? No way! Can't wait to bury myself in some flapjacks. Let's hear what Brett, Nick, and Jenny have to say about the reopening. Hey, what are you doing? You know Christie's is reopening, right? No, this was just rumors. No, it definitely is. My parents own it. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Back in February of 2017, our lives were changed forever. 
When Christie's was forced to close because of a fire, kids in Madison were left craving pancakes without the ability to fulfill their needs. Thankfully, only a year later, Christie's is ready to reopen their doors. When do you guys expect to open? Uh, hopefully we'll be open on Tuesday the 20th. Christie's plans to open with a new and improved interior. Uh, well, there's an entirely new kitchen as well as new bathrooms and uh, the floors are new. We have a new booth. Um, and yeah, it's just, it looks uh, a lot different. Along with changes to the restaurant, they have added an assortment of new items to the menu. Yeah, some of the new additions include chicken and waffles, buffalo chicken mac and cheese, uh, macaroni and cheese stuffed grilled cheese, bacon pancakes, fish tacos, and some new burgers. We look forward to Chrissy's reopening on February 20th. From outside Chrissy's restaurant, this is Nick Woods reporting. Sounds really delicious. Yeah, but unfortunately we're going to need to wrap this up or else the teachers will stop watching. You're right. Catch us here next week at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time for another high production value episode. Checkmate.